This is undoubtedly the best way to set up your Fusion so that it's clean, it's free of clutter, and it flows vertically. I'm gonna show you guys how to get this Fusion layout and it only takes a couple seconds. Your Fusion probably looks something like this where you have your program right here, this is what you have, this is your media out, and your node tree looks like this where it goes from left to right where you have your first node, uh, anything you have in between, and then your media out, right? And that's just how Fusion comes when you load it up for the first time. You load up your, your spline, like your keyframes and stuff like this. It all shows up down here. But this just doesn't work very well because if you want to have more space with these things, it's just not optimal. So I'm going to show you guys how to set it up the way I use it, and this is the best way. Literally, all you have to do is just come up here to Workspace, go to Layout Presets, Fusion Presets, and then Mid Flow and that's it. And if you wanna maximize your space, in the meantime, while you don't need them, turn off keyframes and spline windows, and boom, now your whole window is taken up by your node space and your program viewer. And I like to set my nodes up so that they flow vertically. So watch this. So now from here, like let's say I wanna add, for example, a transform node, I'm gonna press transform node and you see it adds vertically. So now instead of moving from left to right, my flow line moves from top to bottom. Once you can adjust your mind to thinking this way, Fusion just becomes a lot easier. It's so much better to use in my opinion. Just really think that this is how you ought to be using this. I've had a couple comments on previous videos asking how I set this up. So I wanted to make this video just to show you guys the best way to do it. And from here, you can resize your program viewer window, however big or however small you like, just depending on how much space you need for your nodes or how complicated your node tree is, you can zoom in and out here also. This is a lot of freedom here. And when you need your spline editor, turn it on and it takes up the whole bottom part. If you need the keyframes, turn that on too and you can move this over. It's just, it's a really great setup. I really recommend it. So if you learned something from this video, if you enjoyed it or something just clicked for you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment. I want to know what your thoughts are and where your head's at. And in the meantime, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.